Today we're going to take a look at something that could be quite beneficial to you if you work from home and especially if you use a laptop to work from home. And this is the Thunderbolt 4 docking station from Tobinan or Tobin 1, Tobin number 1. I'm not really sure how to pronounce their name correctly, so apologies for that, but from here on I'm, I'm going to call them Tobinon. I'm a big fan of laptops. Matter of fact, I only have laptops at home. I do not have a desktop and that's because I travel a lot and I love the versatility, the portability of a laptop. I can take it with me wherever I go, but also I don't always work from my desk. Sometimes I just want to work from the couch or from bed and a laptop is made for that. However, I cannot actually work work on a laptop screen and that's because it's too small. But even more than that, I kind of need two side-by-side -side monitors to work efficiently. I've gotten used to that and I cannot go back to working on a single monitor. Matter of fact, this is what my home office desk looks like. You can see two huge monitors side by side. I also alternate throughout my workday using a Windows and a Mac. So I actually have two laptops and I use them in clamshell mode. That is their closed and they're just sitting there on my desk and I alternate between the two throughout my day. And since I use them in clamshell mode, I need a keyboard, a mouse, but also I have a webcam. I also have a set of 2.1 channel speakers and a bunch of other accessories that all need to be connected to the laptop. Now, even if your laptop had this many ports to accommodate all of these, do you really want to be unplugging and replugging every single thing every single time? I don't. And this is where something like this comes in handy. This is a Thunderbolt 4 docking station. And the whole idea behind it is you plug everything into that. And then there's only one single cable that goes from the docking station to your laptop. And then everything is connected to your laptop, including charging, so power. And since I alternate between two different laptops, it's as easy as unplugging that cable from the first one and plugging it into the second one. And the entire setup works right away. That is the webcam, the speakers, the accessories, even the ethernet cable, so wired internet, and of course, charging all through one Thunderbolt 4 cable. Cannot get any easier than that. Now, when Tobinon reached out to me asking if I'd review one of their docs, my requirements were I need at least dual monitor support for both Windows and Mac. And this particular dock, the UDS035, was the perfect fit, as this was a Thunderbolt 4 docking station, which support the dual display on Macs. Now, Macs are more tricky to get dual display. On Windows, you can actually get triple display on the stock, but MacBooks, they're a bit more tricky. You can only get dual display, and that is only if you have a MacBook that's running the M1 Pro, M1 Max, or M2 Pro or M2 Max processors. You also need to be using a Thunderbolt 4 cable to one of those displays, and the second display could use either an HDMI or a DisplayPort. Now, neither of my displays have Thunderbolt 4. However, you can get a Thunderbolt 4 to DisplayPort or to HDMI cable, and this is what I've done. So uh, on one side, it's a Thunderbolt 4 cable that goes into the dock, and on the other end of the cable, it's a display port that goes into my monitor. The second monitor, as I said, can be connected either via display port or HDMI on the dock itself. So a quick disclaimer, this was sent to me for free by Tobinan. However, this of course does not impact my review, which remains objective and unbiased. Now my first impressions of this docking station, I was actually quite surprised in a positive way. I had a feeling it's going to be a bit large and clunky and even though I measured it I drew it on a piece of paper just to visualize how big or small it is I did not expect it to be this small it's actually smaller than I thought it's 3.86 inches by 3.86 by 4.92 and weighs about one and a half pounds but the build quality is, is quite impressive and it looks very sleek it has that aluminum finish and it also comes with this magnetic stand which is quite interesting you can use the dock both horizontally and vertically but if you decide to use it vertically you can quickly attach it to this magnetic stand and it looks quite nice in terms of ports on the front of the docking station you have have a USB 3.2 port that supports transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second and two USB A 3.2 supporting transfer speeds of also up to 10 gigabits per second. You also get an SD and a TF slot and a 
five millimeter audio and mic input. On the back of the port, there's that Thunderbolt 4 port that supports a single display of up to 8K, 40 gigabits per second transfer speed, and 15 watt power delivery. There's also one USB-A 3.0 port supporting transfer speeds of up to five gigabits per second. And there's two USB 2.0 ports supporting 480 megabits per second, but these are used more for accessories rather than anything else. There's of course also the display port and HDMI port, both of which support 4K resolutions. And there's an RJ45 for gigabit ethernet as well. The dock comes with a 90 watt power adapter, so it will charge your laptop as well when you connect it, and comes with a 0.5 meter Thunderbolt 4 cable. I've been using the dock for some time now, and it has worked flawlessly, and throughout the day I alternate, as I said, between my Mac and my Windows, and whenever I wanna do that, I simply unplug that Thunderbolt 4 cable and I plug it into my other computer, and my entire desk, my entire setup is connected. Now, because I do have a lot of accessories that need to be connected, the amount of USB ports that come on the stock is not enough for me, and that's one of the things I didn't like, especially the USB-C ports. Effectively, there's only one that you can use. There's two on the back and one on the front, but the two on the back, you cannot use them. One of them is the Thunderbolt 4 port, which is connected to one of the displays, and the other one is the host port. So this is what you connect to the laptop itself, which effectively means you only have one USB-C port on the front. However, you can expand it, and incidentally, Tobinon also has a powered USB USB-C hub, that's the UDS036. It gives you four USB 3.2 ports supporting speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. And as I said, it's a powered USB-C hub, so it comes with a 24 watt power adapter, which supports 20 watt power delivery charging. So I've connected that to the single available USB-C port on the front of the dock, and now I have four additional USB-C ports. So if you have a home office, if you work from home, especially if you have multiple monitors and a couple of accessories, a much easier and more efficient way for your setup is to use a dock. And um, I would definitely recommend this particular Thunderbolt 4 dock. As I said, I've been using it for a while and I'm very happy with it. I will put links to the dock in the description. These are affiliate links. So if you do decide to purchase, I may get a small commission on that sale and this will help support the channel. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, thoughts, or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.